Manchester City versus Arsenal, the match that will pretty much determine who wins the Premier League title this season. I'm back in Arsenal to do it, I think they'll win 3 2. Now, this, I do realise that Manchester City could blow Arsenal out of the wall. It could be 3 0 within 20 minutes because they have Rob Holding at centre back instead of William Saliba. However, I think Arsenal, in, they know they have to win this, man. You know, they've, this is the only trophy they've got to compete for this season. They, yes, they've bottled the last three games, really, you know. But should have won all three and said they've got three draws. Manchester City are just coming off a great week. And Manchester City just beat Bayern Munich in the Champions League. They've just got through to the FA Cup final. You know, they've rested De Bruyne for that match, so he's going to be fully fit. Riyad Mahrez is coming off a hat-trick in that game, and Erling Haaland is Erling Haaland. You know, he gets four or five duels against Rob Holding. You'd back him to win at least two or three of them. But I think Arsenal, man, they, they're going to do it. You know, that, that Arsenal attack has been really good. You know, Jesus was wasteful against Southampton. He's going to need to perform here against his old club. Same with Zinchenko. These are the games that they were bought in for, you know, to, pro to provide leadership. And against their old club, you know they're going to want to get one over on them. They did lose back in February when Jesus was injured. He might know what it takes to unlock this Manchester City defence. And Arsenal know they pretty much have to win here to win the title. If they don't, if they even get a draw here, I think City will take it. But a win for Arsenal and it changes everything. Man City are still in the Champions League, they're still in the FA Cup. They have won the Premier League four of the last five seasons. If they win it again, it'll be five and six. You know, the Premier League will be a bit farmers league. But I think even in that first game, Arsenal had chances to win, you know, and yes, they're going to miss Saliba a lot. It could be 3 0 within 20 minutes. But I just think they have to play their own game. You know, they cannot go to Etihad being scared. If they go there fearless and they attack Manchester City with, the, with how good they are going forward, you know, obviously, Party is going to have to be a lot better than he has been in recent weeks. You know, against, especially against West Ham, he was awful. But. He's going to need to provide a lot of support for holding because he's not going to have to deal with Haaland. Obviously, Gabriel's back there as well. They've got three very dangerous attackers. They've got Jack Grealish, who's been in insane form this season. They've got Phil Foden coming back from injury. Um, you know, he's going to want to get onto the pitch. Riyad Mahrez, like I said, coming off a hat trick. Erling Haaland, arguably the best player in the world right now. But Arsenal have a really good attack themselves. You know, Manchester City have shown this season if you attack them, you'll get success. Look at Newcastle, you know, look at even Liverpool. They've, had, they've been awful this season, but they managed to get a win against City early in the season. Arsenal cannot be afraid. If Arsenal sit back, they're going to lose because defensively, without Saliba, they're, you know, they've conceded seven goals in three games. That's not good at all. If they attack Manchester City, they'll win. And I'm backing them to do it. 3-2 Arsenal.